little gear. No idea. Hi, Mama Stokes, and as promised, here is my gear. All the gear and no idea, but it has all really helped me. So, the first thing that I had to purchase as a serious swimmer was a swimming hat. Um, I don't really know why I even chose this colour, but actually it's quite good because when I'm in open water, people can see me. Um, doesn't keep my hair dry, but with the help of some AquaGuard, um, this is protecting my hair. So I put this on, um, dry hair, before I get in the pool, then put my hat on, and it seems to be helping the condition of my hair just a little bit. Um, all important goggles. I've desperately tried to find some goggles that don't give me the horrible goggle marks, but it, oh, these were sold to me by Amazon. Um, claiming that they didn't give the horrible marks. They're called View. They're really comfortable though, I have to say. Um, I was wearing them a little bit too tight at one point and because there isn't an adjustable nose um, section, it was quite tight, but now that I've loosened it off and there's a really, really easy way to do that, they're super comfy, they don't steam up, um, so they're working. Uh, my MP3 pair that I've talked about a lot um, it's by Tayogo, and again, I got it from Amazon, and basically, it's got a bit here that you unclip, and it's um, a USB. So basically, I can just download from my iTunes um, and choose music to play, and then it sits around the back of my head, <clears throat> and these go in my ears, and they do tend to come out, um, but, with my swimming hat on, I pull the swimming hat over the top and they sit quite snugly in. And the sound's actually really good. Um, it's got volume, you can pause, all the rest of it. I've been really impressed and I, I can't remember how much they were, but I don't think they were more than about 35 quid. So that is a really cool bit of equipment. I'm a bit of a wimp and I hate to water up my nose. Um, and it actually causes me quite a lot of pain if I don't wear a nose peg. So it looks horrific. Well, it's all that you talk like that. Um, but this is my little gem. I absolutely love my nose clip. Um, and it does tend to, to stay in place. Um, I've also talked about my Tempo Trainer and it's by Finis. And it's got three settings, one, two, and three. I haven't completely figured out how to use it. I tend to use it on setting number one you can then choose um, to put it on. Can you hear the beep? Well, that is actually really easy to hear when it's it just sits inside my swimming hat, um, easy to flip in and out, and I've found the pace that is my ideal kind of pace, if you like. Um, there's a really good blog on the Total Immersion website where um, they talk about the Tempo Trainer, so they can probably give you a lot more information than I can. Um, I'm a newbie to that one. This is my swimming bag. Um, it's massive, but the bonus is that I can hopefully fit in it my dry robe and my uh, wetsuit. Um, I absolutely love it. A backpack was essential to me because I tend to cycle when I go to the pool. Um, and it's got this really cool section at the front, which um, is where you can put all your wet stuff and it's got a mesh, so it's like a completely different section to the rest of the bag. And there's pockets galore, so I tend to keep my swimming hat and all the this business in the larger pocket here. And there's a little pocket on the side where I tend to keep my gym pass and things like that. And inside, there's just bags of room. And there's even a waterproof section that if you so wanted to, you could actually keep a laptop in there. Um, but it, it, again, keeps everything separate. And the back is quite solid. Um, it's just a really well-made, it's really lightweight uh, bag. And it's by TYR. Now, I went onto the TYR website and they've got so many colourways and um, styles. But I actually, again, I hate, I feel like I'm on an advert for Amazon, but I actually got that from Amazon. Um, it was one of the best prices and I'm a Prime member, so it turned up the next day. My wetsuit is a very reasonably priced wetsuit. It's um, DHB. 
uh, it's inside out right now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really, really comfy, a really good fit. Um, I haven't had any rubbing at all on it on my neck, but I did buy some Glide um, to, to put on my neck to stop any rubbing. And I actually chose for her um, anti-chaff and moisturising balm. Um, and it does really work. My husband struggles with his wetsuit rubbing him and he uses my for her balm. I'll let him. Um, and he says it really does make a difference. So I'm going to stick with it because I may well need it as I start to do um, further in the water. But for anyone who hasn't yet swum in a wetsuit, you need to practice because it actually adds buoyancy. And so I found it put me in a very different position in the water. And it was something I really had to get used to. And I really struggled doing breaststroke in it. I can't actually do breaststroke very well, so that might be why. Um, but doing front crawl, absolutely no problems whatsoever. It's a really, really super wetsuit. And then, as you have seen, my perch, latest purchase is my dry robe. So this is for putting on after I've been swimming, either in the outdoor pool or in open water. It's got a toweling inside. It's a massive, massive fit, but the whole idea is that it's so big that when you take your arms out inside, you can actually just get fully changed. Um, I went for the camo, which I really love, and went for a little bit of girly pink, but again, they do some really, really cool colorways. Um, they do black, I think they do red, um, and they do this one, but with different colors, like gray and blue and all kinds of things. I went directly to the dry robe um, website to purchase mine and I've actually also purchased, uh, which hasn't come yet because I added it onto my order, um, a towel that kind of, um, it's got like a bit of Velcro so it will actually stay and so you can get changed in your towel if you don't want to get changed in your dry robe and then you can put this on afterwards. Um, they're quite pricey but do you know what, I, I, I'd wear it everywhere if I could, if I thought I could get away with it, but I'm not that gangster. So I'm gonna stick with it just for swimming. Um, so those are really my main basics. I'm not even gonna show you my swimming costume right now because it is minging. Um, the gym pool that I swim in, the chlorine level is really high and it is stripped the color. I'm pretty sure it's gone see-through and I've got a new wetsuit hopefully arriving, to, uh, not a wetsuit, a swimming costume, hopefully arriving tomorrow um, because my other one just needs to go in the bin. So I'm not spending a lot of money on my, on my swimming costumes because um, I just figure they're going to disintegrate while I'm training in the pool. So that's the equipment. If anybody wants any more information, I can do individual videos and give a little bit more detail about anything that you're interested in. So let me know. I love my dry robe.